WWE has unveiled a new championship on SmackDown. CM Punk's AEW return feud has potentially been leaked, and the Money in the Bank cash-in plans have possibly been revealed. Stay tuned for the news. Do you like gold, Sam? Oh, I love it. I'm like a dragon in Lord of the Rings, me. I was going to compare you to a gold member, but that's better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So WWE <laughs> has unveiled um, a brand new championship design on SmackDown last God, night. They have. And it's... Um, it's gold, yes. for, for sure. Yep. It is gold. It's so the gold. Uh, WWE uh, had this big celebration for Roman Reigns' 1,000 days as Universal Champion. Which, I mean, can't be sniffed at. 1,000 days, it does uh, deserve a special prize exactly. or something. Yeah. It's a long title reign. Triple yeah. H said it was the longest title reign in 40 years, which Oof. is quite an accomplishment. Oof. But Triple H came out to the ring and they had this whole presentation. There was a title belt under under a cloth, or there was something under a cloth. Oh, what could it, it just be? It looked like a title belt. Triple H hyped up the uh, 1000 day reign removed the cloth from the table and it's a new WWE Undisputed Championship. It was the officially called the uh, Universal Championship. Yeah. So as you can see behind us and on the screen, I'll be flashing up images now. They've changed out, I believe, that where the world or Universal is now just undisputed. Yeah. Uh, but of course, the, the biggest addition to the standard WWE title design is the slab of gold. And it's gold. I think way back initially I remember it was kind of like hey why isn't there gold on the belt um, yeah. and you, you, you care for what you wish for I I don't think it's ugly I think I think it looks worse on TV than it does in the Euroshop yes. images I think that it looks a lot cleaner a lot nicer in the Euroshop images I just really like and it's a weird thing to like but I like the dimpled leather behind the titles I think and I thought you could have just sprayed that and had the dimpled gold effect and it would look really it would look nice really nice it does look like there's slight dimples but because it's gold it looks more like crinkles I think yeah. I compared it to a pot noodle lid in the way it crinkles <laughs> um but like taking the it is a nice belt design. I yeah. like the normal design of the WWE Championship. I think uh, out of all of the ones, it's the nicest they've had in a, a long time. And then mm. as long as it's one individual belt and it's not like their whole range of belts look the same, mm. it's fine. But it's just a bit of a departure with you're all the gold me, in the background. You're telling me with the with the good job you did of the big gold, because, you know, I, I, I'm a fan of the original big gold. I don't think anything yep. will come close. I think that the new one doesn't go anywhere near as close as the big gold to that level of kind of, you know, yeah. tingle in my dingle. But, like, it still looks beautiful. That's and the a very gold member line, that one. <laughs> the the logo is very prominent in the middle, but it's, it's not the whole faceplate. I was kind of like, oh, if we're getting a new Undisputed, maybe we'll get that same Undisputed shape, but with a bigger logo in the middle. That's and what I go. thought. I thought we would get a complete departure from the design but I yeah. guess it's so uniform that they've had for so long they don't want to have too much of a departure they want that yeah. recognised as the belt do you think it's going to continue on or do you think this is going to be more of a vanity belt for Roman that after Roman drops it and the belts get split it's gone that's the thing because it's we're unsure of the lineage of this yeah. belt because they didn't confirm anything they've not said anything online afterwards Paul Heyman kept both the WWE Championship and the Universal Championship as they were walking up the ramp uh, as Reigns is celebrating with his new belt now it looks like it's just so that they can have one physical belt yeah. for the title to be represented by they are keeping that 1000 day reign otherwise that's for the universal title but the WWE championship has a much more prestigious yeah. lineage <laughs> um, and I hope they keep that but it's there's a lot of questions about going forward what they do yeah. with this new belt and if it's defended as one shared lineage yeah I, I think either way three titles even though I kind of balked at it initially is starting to make sense to me maybe overall now if you had a champion for Raw champion for Smackdown and then an overall then WWE world, yeah. champion yeah. you know the, the the person who represents the, the absolute strongest in the company then I can see that working but yeah it's it's been it's, yep but that's the same <laughs> time that's why we've got mid card belts and a world title but yeah. Aside from the ugliness of some of the design of the belt, it does look all right, and I'm sure it will grow on us. But let us know in the comments below what you think of the new WWE Undisputed Universal I just don't like Championship. Change. I think that's it. That's it. We don't like change. Yeah. But what could be changing soon is Pack in AEW. He could be back soon because yeah. Pack has been out of action since the start of the year, dealing with some injuries, according to the Wrestling Observer. But he's set to return from those injuries shortly. Um, he's been getting his nose fixed after sustaining an injury, but he worked through it to finish the best of seven series with the Elite. Yeah. So he was injured during that. He's had some extended time off. 
but apparently, I think AEW's got their show in the UK soon. Yeah, I, I don't know. I did hear some rumblings. Uh, so I something. think maybe they might I want think. to get Newcastle's favourite son on that show, you know? Yeah, you probably want him there. You probably I think do. for some degree. But he could be back in AEW soon. And another update on AEW returns. Uh, what's the deal with Santana, Sam? Uh, so this one comes from the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Santana is going to be ready to return to AEW soon. The report has noted that they're unsure where he will fit into plans as he and Ortiz have had a falling out. Previous plans saw Santana and Ortiz teaming with Eddie Kingston as a trio. However, Kingston's been mostly working for Ring of Honor in New Japan uh, before the hernia surgery he's gone through. So uh, he's also been absent from TV as well. It could just be a fresh start, you know. That's the thing. It could yeah. it could just bring him back and just to boost that division. <clears throat> They're going to have two shows. So they, if they have not many that bridge between Santana and Ortiz, they can have them on separate shows. Yeah, they got them on separate shows and I think and both are going to add to the depth charts of the shows they're on very much yeah. so. And I, I find it so strange that AEW's gone from having such a bloated roster to now two shows where we're like, okay, we need yes. to add some depth to this. It's just two islands with <laughs> yeah. a massive ocean between them. Exactly, but I'm looking forward to seeing Santana back. If they managed to mend that bridge, him and Ortiz, they were one of the best tag teams in the entire oh, yeah. company. Uh, and they never got a tag title reign. Mm. Give them, give them a shot at the tag give belts. Give them a shot if, if, they, if, they, they, if they so choose to come do back. it. But staying with AEW and returns, uh, CM Punk is coming back. It was announced on this past week's uh, Dynamite that he is returning on the June 17th episode of Collision, the debut episode of Collision at the United Center in Chicago. According to Fightful Select, CM Punk has taken a liking to one and only Switchblade Jay White, and this could potentially be his return feud and match. Uh, the report notes that... Uh, Deuce Robinson could also be involved in this program. Mm -hmm. Punk is liking Bullet Club Gold. <laughs> FDR did recently start a feud with Bullet Club Gold. Which, so, yeah, so of course, sort of gets the, the ball rolling, doesn't it? It does a little bit. If you've got a little storyline going between them for the tag belts, FTR's mate's coming back. Yeah. So potentially something there. The report also notes that there were heavy pitches for Jericho and Punk to feud together once Punk had returned from his injury and his time off. Um, but there hasn't been any talk of that feud in a while. They also heard that Samoa Joe and CM Punk is still in the works for Collision in the future. We heard that uh, there was graphics made involving Samoa Joe and CM Punk, but it yeah. looks like that's not happening just yet. It will, it'll happen eventually, surely. You've got to think it's going to be something they want to put out there. Yeah. What match are you most excited for for a CM Punk return? Anything? Anything I, I kind of, I was really excited to see what he and Jericho would do. So mm -hmm. I, that's the one I, I'm kind of, I'm going to put a pin in it if it's not okay. the plan right now. That's the one I want to see because I think they can make magic together. They did some really, really good matches 10 odd yeah. years ago in and WWE. That's, that's what I want to get back to that kind of <laughs> <laughs> that kind of vibe it was yeah. like it doesn't need to be even similar story wise it was just the way they went off against each other was amazing I would, I would hope that they changed up the storyline because it wasn't yeah. a great story the matches were great it best was kind of a bit world. tasteless yeah, yeah best in the world versus the best in the world at what he does yeah. give us that um, but we're moving over to Money in the Bank just now a big show at the end of this month Sam what's the, what's happening with Money in the Bank so we have Money in the Bank entrance confirmed from last night's Smackdown we have Zelina Vega who deleted uh, deleted deleted she deleted Delete. she defeated Lacey Evans to earn her place in the Money in the Bank match in London. LA Knight defeated Montez Ford as well. Yeah. Uh, and they are both, well, LA Knight's going forward through to, uh, to face Ricochet, Nakamura, Matt Riddle, and many, many more. Many more is yet to be confirmed. We'll have some more qualifying matches on this week's Raw and mm. probably next week's SmackDown. Um, very excited to see LA Knight in there. Yeah. He's the boy. -o. He's the boy. He is he the really boy. He really is. I, I fingers crossed he's going to walk out with it. And speaking of LA Knight, well, that's the, keeping your fingers crossed. A report from Fight Fans has suggested that the winner of the Money in the Bank ladder match has been discussed internally for months. The report states, barring any changes as of right now, LA Knight is still considered the number one choice internally. Uh, always, they said that they've always heard it will be a cash in on Rollins whenever it happens. Uh, discussions on having him win it have been going on for months internally. Now, it makes sense to have him cash in on Rollins. I yeah. don't think he's beating Reigns for the belt, but if no. LA Knight wins and he cashes in on Rollins, I think we're getting LA Knight as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I think so, and I think the feud and uh, you know the run that him and Rollins could do together in and around this is going to be something spectacular. So it's not to be right. turned down. Two of the best in the company on the mic, two of mm -hmm. the best in the ring as well. LA Knight, I feel, is quite underrated. He's had some yeah. really, really fun matches. He's not as work rate as someone like Rollins, but just the way the crowd responds to him it's last the work night. He does oh my in, god! In the way he does it, I think. Um, but yeah, so LA Knight. Could be the winner. What do you do? You think is that the right call? Is there anyone else? I can't think of anyone else. Maybe Logan Paul. I know that's someone. Logan that Paul's we've somebody. About. Yeah, well, I could see that happening because obviously his social media reach and all of the places he could be taking the case. But please give it to LA Knight. Come on, please. Yeah. Won't you please just yeah. give it to LA Knight? 
But yeah, that's all the news we have for this morning. Ellie oh. Knight potentially going on to Money Please. in the Bank. I cannot wait. <laughs> If you're going to Money in the Bank, let us know. I'm very excited for that show. Yeah, very jealous of you going. Very yeah, jealous. Couldn't well, get tickets. We will catch you later on today. We'll have more news coming at you this afternoon. But in the meantime, get yourself a coffee. Get yourself sat down. It's Saturday morning. The sun is shining. Or it is here. Kind of. We'll see you later.